watching this little thing get smaller? <laughs> it's a reverse loading bar. <laughs> yeah, so nice. <laughs> nice, very cool. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Things like preparation, uh, we have an image here. Uh, what number is an image? I don't know. No idea. Do you know? We should maybe prepare <laughs> this. Uh, yeah. Use the best prompts possible. So I built uh, from Wizard, which is a website anyone can sign up for. Um, as, you, as you're in ChatGPT, you can search for good prompts, activate them, use them, create your own prompts, upload them, and favorite them. So we can do, do something like that here. We can search what kinds of prompts might be useful for playing games. I have to type in or copy or search for or modify myself. Um, and I can add, add it to my favorites, um, etc. So anybody can uh, go over here and go in. And then after, after that, we are going to deploy. That is because of ChatGPT latency, I understand. Okay, we'll deploy. With headlines that match terms that it figures out based on what I've told it. And then after it gets those, it's going to further drill down if this works. It doesn't always work. Oh yeah, your question was submitted. I don't know if I have time to answer the question, but uh, we can come here and just answer the question. Maybe it's a uh, uh, number three. <laughs> 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 just yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, Ethan, are we good? All right, cool. Chat taking me. Next up. Next up. Uh, over I mean, obviously, I didn't actually like do it all the way through, but I just thought it'd be like a fun experiment. So, <laughs> yeah. So, flavors and properties uh, that currently exist are these. Is this like AV AGI thing and this auto GPT? So, I actually used this as an excuse to like, explore as much of this as possible. That was like kind of the main uh, objective here. Um, and so, they have properties like self healing and self improving. Um, before we get into the actual plugin, I just kind of want to give you a sense of what the flow, the thought is. Is like a human. Yeah, and I'm also with Sasha, who's also known as Hackathon Goofer. Um, so it's what? It, it, it's, it's just it's crawling there. I, I, there's still running a request that I made earlier. So I'm just going to demo it and just trust that it works. Uh, but you'll see you can test it in the, in the Discord. So, so first, you actually gave me a registered username. Then you, then you say, uh, you know, you, then you ask a question that's, that's going to be a Turing test. So a good question would be like, misspell this word. Uh, actually, GPT-4 is really good at misspelling, so you can't do that anymore. Uh, another thing would be like, uh, give me a swear word, and then GPT-4 would have to overcome its biases. <laughs> so basically, GPT-4 interacts with individuals and accounts related to technology, AI, and entrepreneurship. Um, and then the names of the um, uh, Twitter um, uh, users, then Apps directly into Replit through a prompt and also put it into GitHub because you don't want Thunder locking, of course. So, for example, create an app that allows you to play four in a row. This for your archive uh, and another one for Slyhub. Uh, so, here's like the past that I want to build in a robotic excavator. Uh, this has never been done before, like sort of you're sort of iterating through ideas. Uh, it'll go through and it'll like look um, through archive uh, for similar papers. Um, and then for, for Sci-Hub, it's a little harder because there's 8 million papers. Uh, it's like a 30 gig SQL file of all papers. Um, the, yeah. Nice. And it, it can do um, any language. I, like, I don't, I don't know what Lua is, I'll be honest, I haven't used it, but 
I can use it with uh, this to program. Um, so you see it just makes, because I, I hate when uh, I ask ChatGPT to code for me, and then I get an error and then I paste back in the error, this will just loop and solve all the errors. Um, but now it doesn't work because I'm out of space, so it can't solve anything. Block Live um, plugin. It'll create the event and then tell you everything that it wants to know to launch the make sheet music in text. And that's loading, so let me just share some things that worked. <laughs> what was the input for that one? Um, it is, it's, uh, spinning up a, a camera. You got a little camera server sitting on the back end somewhere? Uh, yep, and it took a photo of everybody here. Uh -huh. uh, now it's doing its analysis and asking how many people are in the photo. Oh, it's the camera. <laughs> <laughs> So presumably behind the scenes, this is using your ChatGPT team. Uh, basically, what, uh, what kind of standard ChatGPT is working? And what we did is uh, we created a plugin to uh, create a dynamic memory of tasks for each of the agents that uh, get sorted by priority. And we did it once uh, for one agent. It's like we can do and create multiple agents, each of them has uh, different. Uh, and a dynamic memory of, uh, of tasks, and we can uh, kind of solve problems from using that. We ask it to summarize its tasks using a compression algorithm. Uh, Gphoto on, on Twitter sort of popularized this, and it works great for this application. Um, and then uh, we walk through a problem. How do you understand uh, the spaces to build a hydrogen? And um, yeah, we spend a lot of time refreshing the plugin. So next time we, we get that, uh, I would suggest hot loading the manifest. Um, yeah, uh, how much time do we have? You're done. We're done. All right. <laughs> uh, we can do a live demo if you want, uh, but uh, yeah, if you want to try it to us, yeah. you can yeah. go to chatgpt.t and try to catch a joke. It's linked in like Very cool. Very cool. Uh, okay. gotcha. 
Um, yeah, so they're kind of small, right? And so, like, when it comes back, it doesn't, unless I ask it to specifically give me a. There was hydroxychloroquine. Um, and so, hydroxychloroquine was uh, something that a lot of people were talking about. Um, may or may not have uh, some medical applicability, but, uh, you know, uh, kind of use cases. Let me ask uh, citation needed, does it work for treating COVID? Please return response and, you know, let me know uh, what the papers say um, that actually, like, uh, have not done this new research. And so here we've uh, gone to a bed, we have uh, clear, no supporting evidence, uh, high confidence across the board, as well as links to uh, PubMed articles. Nice. So testing, we, we had to see, okay, let's take up five yes, five no evidence scores, and then see if it works or not. Uh, so I think- These humans are weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, yeah, really <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we are uh, the team service rock service robot. Um, basically, what we do is we're trying to implement this new paper that just came out from Meta AI. Uh, that is called Sam. Uh, it does really cool pixel segmentation, and it does also like object detections. So the robot is moving. It's recording using an iPhone camera. And this is what. Here is the process segmentation we are using sound. Yeah, uh, anyway, it's taking way too much time. And I can. I can draw all sorts of things. I can draw my blinds, I can open my garage door. We've got music now playing in my living room. And then one last thing to show you is, you know, I actually want to listen to, I don't know, more like Tom Petty right here. Uh, uh, GPTV. Uh, so the kind of core idea around this is I personally believe that ideas converge. And so I think it's really important to connect others uh, while we're kind of in this box of intelligence. Um, and so basically how it works is that is like in and uh, one of the most, uh, like, the main point is that this itself is a plugin. So we have a public website, let's say something like this, which has its APIs that are available, then, then we'll uh, scrape, scrape those APIs and uh, write this. So here, right now, you can call something like uh, get, get the item, right? And so now it's what it's going to do, it's going to search, and it's going to surface this page. And the really cool thing here is that now at the bottom of this, we have a comment section, and someone actually has left a comment here. Does anyone know if environmental regulations have an impact on price? And so now what we... Uh, so this is sort of like an autonomous browser, which can automatically control your browser using natural language. Uh, so this is really good at doing a lot of things. And so what I did is I connected this to ChatGPT. So you gave like full browser control to ChatGPT, and you connect to all your social accounts, your LinkedIn, uh, basically everything. And the interesting thing is like if you have used on the plugins on um, the chat GPT, like if you have used the open table plugin or the Expedia plugin, it gives you the recommendation, but I wanted to go the last one and actually do all the booking. So I wanted to move the human out of the loop. And so basically you can connect this plugin to like other plugins. And so if you have like the so let's check. And yeah. <laughs> Sick. Imagine you're creating like book a room at this hotel. The great thing about Expedia and the reason that it's a multi-billion dollar company is they did all this work to make all these APIs for a lot of these obscure hotels and all this stuff. But what if that could just be done in a couple hundred lines of GPT? So we started out with things that were more on the Selenium HTML parsing side and we'll figure out the right thing to uh, populate in JavaScript fields. That's it. Nice, very cool. About 20 part of the end of the API. So the images are a bit crazy. I don't think this is a problem with the BCI. But yeah, it did the job. Nice, very cool. And then I give you a three endpoint which can compare it. Then so what is it accessing behind the scenes to do that? So I have my like different design specific agents that mm -hmm. can do various things. 
this task and there is an orchestrator which does it. So, so is there is there like a finite number of things that it can do, or does it use like image magic commands? What's what what are the agents behind this? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. Oh, wow. oh no. <laughs> <laughs>